Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. Today we're going to focus on a new battery from CATR. It's launching into mass production this quarter and they are partnering with a Chinese car maker, an EV maker, to actually launch it this quarter. Now, I believe that Tesla should be considering this next generation LFP battery because it's very powerful. So let's see what CATL has to offer. But first we will look into the Chinese market. We have some very promising um, results here from last year compared to 2021. Uh, we first gonna look into the new energy vehicles. They have increased by a lot. We have the general market being up by 1.9%. I do expect that to be in 2023 even more as lockdowns are now fading away. And we have the um, China internal combustion numbers 5.8% down. This is something we will get used to all over every single market in the world. It is going to be a slow decline, nothing like 20% in one year. But we see in Europe even um, higher declines than in China. Now, CATL is working with Seeker, the Chinese car maker here together. I hope I spelled the name right. And we have here some nice new battery. So um, CATL is working on the Quillin battery. Uh, it was announced last year. It was unveiled in June. And now this is a CTP um, battery system. So cell to pack based on prismatic lithium ion cells. So it's named after a legendary cre uh, creator in China's mythology. So they are doing all this history part. But what is very important here is a record breaking volume utilization efficiency of 72% and an energy density of up to 250 watt per kilogram. So that is way, way more than the LFP batteries we have currently. And we all know the LFP batteries have been proven as a lot of people wrong. Tesla was one of the first moving into LFP batteries. But now we all know this entire process of new technology. There are going to come a lot more um, new batteries, better batteries. And they are even claiming, and now it's getting a bit critical because I believe um, this is a marketing strategy um, because they don't have the information of the 4680 batteries yet. But what they are claiming is that they can get, deliver 13% more power than the 4680 batteries and a higher volumetric integration of 72% versus 63%, as well as a better thermal efficiency and faster charging. Now that is some claiming here. So um, CATL is really claiming they have a better battery than the 4680s based on the LFP. So that is astonishing here. But let's look what are they doing different here? What is the difference um, between what they had in the first generation and now in the second generation? What they are doing is they are working on the cooling system as well. So they are cooling in a different way. Um, we are all used to see cooling on top, so cooling the entire battery pack. What, what they are doing is um, they have placed the liquid cooling functionality parts between the cells. So um, this is an interesting strategy. I find that very good because with that, I believe that's the reason why they can charge faster um, because the heat is not going to be the issue here. Um, as they put it between the cells. Now, it, it all sounds very good, but keep in mind when they talk about a thousand kilometers or five to 600 miles, this is based on Chinese estimations here. We have WLTP, um, this is always 20% down. So you have to take 20% of the range they advertise here from Chinese car makers down to the WLTP that we are used to in Western countries. So keep that in mind, please, um, if we talk about range. Nevertheless, that would still be um, 800 kilometers for me as a German. And then you have to take the winter range. So you might come at maybe 600 kilometers. And that is some good results, guys. I mean, if that is true, um, I think Tesla should put it into their cars. Let me know what you believe 
um, is the right strategy here for Tesla. Now in Germany, as we have talked about the last 12 months about energy crisis, um, energy prices, we had 63 cents in euros per kilowatt hour, 70 in some hours as well. But now it's moving down to 47, 52, 47. So we are getting back to some normal numbers. I am very um, confident that if the prices are going further down, which they do right now, not only the gas price, but as well electricity prices, that Tesla will be going back to um, lower prices. Um, we are seeing other companies struggling, but if Tesla can actually go a bit lower, um, they could actually make a lot of money with customers deciding to go back to superchargers up as prices are very good. Um, some even have prices at home of 41 cents per kilowatt hour. So if you're already just in a six cent difference here, Tesla has still some room to compete even with some people having very high rates at home. So um, that is going to be very interesting in the future or in 2023. Now, not only that is interesting, as we are seeing further construction here at Giga Berlin, we also have updates regarding Austin and we have um, further news what they are planning over there. But what is important to consider for 2023 is that Tesla might be catching BMW and Mercedes in the quarter numbers, um, 500k to 600k, we can achieve that here. I do believe in um, 2023 that's possible. For Audi, they were just missing by 15k. I think that's out of a question that Tesla can achieve um, the numbers that Audi is achieving per quarter. But just as a reminder, Tesla is not um, being considered long term as a premium company. They want to be a mass producer of cars, smaller EVs, 20 million cars per year. That is not the market of Audi, Mercedes, BMW. They are not trying to attract that many people. So e always keep that in mind. When it comes to miles driven per one accident, it has been getting better now. Um, Q2 was not that great, to be honest with you. <clears throat> and we had um, Q3 with better numbers, still not at Q1 numbers of um, 2022. But again, we see a trend. And over time, if we go back to 2020, we had some with better results, some with less um, successful results. But in a trend over years, it has been getting better. Now, looking into the US, we also have incidents. And of course, what is that costing Americans? $340 billion in 2019. So we can all agree this is not going to go to zero. But what we can agree on is that this um, number can be decreased. And I think autopilot full self driving will help um, to decrease that number and make it better in the United States. For the United States and Austin, there is an expansion of $716 million planned. So lots of stuff happening here in Giga Austin. Very excited to see that even though Tesla Rati was choosing a very old picture, they are much further ahead with the um, solar roof. Thank you very much for being here today. Have a wonderful day.